thanks for tuning to our YouTube channel. Today I want to look at some of the advanced options that are available to us inside of the Bill of Materials in SolidWorks. I'll go ahead and insert table, Bill of Materials. Select the view, and accept the defaults. Now, if I look at these arrows pointing to the left and select those, what it's going to show me is called the Assembly Structure column. Now, a couple of things. When I mouse over any component, I get a nice quick view um, preview of that component. I can also select in this Assembly Structure column to see the items highlight on the page. Now, some of the options that are immediately visible when we right click are to exclude from the bomb. I'll get a verification window. The component will be excluded. And if for whatever reason I need to um, bring those back, I can just navigate to it in the feature tree. Right click, select include in bomb. Now, another really neat feature here is the component options. Now you'll see this um, dialog box that pops up and the first option there is to select how I want the name of this component displayed. I can select the document name which is default, any name of a configuration or I can use a specified name and call it anything I like. Now since this is a subassembly you'll also notice I've got some options here for child components. So I can show, hide, or promote those. If I choose promote and accept that, I'll get a confirmation dialog that that assembly is going to be dissolved. And when I select OK, you'll notice that the subassembly is no longer listed in the bill of materials, but that each component has been promoted to the top level. Now, oftentimes in bills of materials, we have um, somewhat of a virtual component, such as oil or an epoxy or um, a wire, for example. And so the quantity that's computed by SolidWorks based on the instances of that component is not going to be accurate. So what we can do is, again, right-click in the Assembly Structure column, go to Component Options, and via this dialog, I can select um, what custom property I'd like to use as quantity. Now, these do have to be predefined inside of the component you wish to have the quantity displayed for. So I'm going to select unit of measure that I've predefined to be 0.375. Accept that. And you'll see that now my oil has that custom property as its quantity. Now, uh, one last neat thing, if I mouse over and grab the move icon, I can drag bills of materials to another sheet. When you see the icon change, you can go ahead and release it. I can also drag it by dropping it on uh, the sheets in the design tree as well. So that's a short look at some of the options with bills of materials. Be sure and check back often for our new videos.